Welcome back to Ricky's Pictures. This is going to be a short episode today. I'm not going to do any photo editing. I just want to show you guys how I do my workflow. So this is how I take my photos from my SD card once I've got them off my camera and I put them onto my computer and back them up on cloud storage. Now the first thing you might notice is that there's a big thick blanket on my bed, but I'm still in Indonesia. I'm still coming to you from a hotel room. And the reason there's a thick blanket here is because I'm actually at Mount Bromo and it gets very cold here. So it's very surprising because I am in Indonesia, very close to the equator, but we're so high in altitude that it gets really cold here, not only at night, but it's also pretty chilly during the day. So that's why the, I have this uh, very pretty, not it's very ugly, uh, thick blanket on my bed. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started here on the computer. So on the left here, I've got all of my photos, and this is from my SD card. And on the right, I have my external hard drive. So as you can see here, I've got my external hard drive right here, and my SD card is just plugged into my computer right on this side. Um, so if I go into photos here on my external drive, I've got all these folders here, and I always put them in by year. So my first folder is photos and then the year. So I'm going to go to 2017 and I'm going to go to Indonesia. As you can see, I have folders for New Zealand and my road trip with my brother. But here I have Indonesia. So once you go into Indonesia, then the next folders are dates. So today is November the 2nd. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder called November the 2nd. And I'm going to open that up. So within here, now I'm going to create a new folder and it's going to be named the place that I am. So this one's going to be called Mount Bromo. All right. And then within that, I'm going to create three folders. One is called D for developed. One is called PSD for obviously my PSD, my Photoshop files. And then the last one is called raw. And this is the one we're going to be concerned with right now. So I'm going to take my raw files from the SD card. I'm going to select all of them and I'm just going to drag them in to that raw file. Alright, so now that all of these raw files have been imported into the raw file here, you can see. I'm going to go into Lightroom here and I'm just going to go to my library. And on this folder, 2017, I'm just going to right click and choose Synchronize Folder. So this little dialog is going to come up. It's going to take a second to count your photos and then you just have to push Synchronize. And it's going to tell you how many it's going to synchronize, and you just have to wait a second for that to load all of your photos into Lightroom. All right, now that it's done synchronizing, you can see I have a new folder in here called November 2nd that I just created. And under that is Mount Romo and the files we just created. So since D and PSD are empty folders, they're not even going to be listed here, so I'm just going to have my raw folder here. Later, once I do put PSDs and develop photos in there, uh, they will be listed in Lightroom. Some people don't like that, so you could just choose the raw file. I find it easier to just put my whole folder in there and then just click synchronize. I don't mind that the PSDs come in later. So now that I've got all of my raws in here, what I normally do is I go through and I select the few that I'm going to use. I create my full uh, edited photo, and once I've only once I've done that do I come in here and I go to my Amazon Drive. I'm going to load up my Amazon Drive here, and I'm just going to pretend like I had deleted a lot of these photos. So what I'll normally do is I'll select five photos or four photos or however many it might be that I actually am going to need for the image itself. And whatever I use are the only ones that I save just so that I don't have to upload so much to my Amazon Drive because when I'm traveling, I have very limited internet and sometimes it can take an hour, two hours, three hours, even longer just to upload like six raw files. So I try to keep that minimal. So here my Amazon Drive is loading. And once I load my Amazon Drive, it looks basically just like my external hard drive. So I can go to Photos here, 2017, Indonesia, and then I've got all these folders here. So I would create a new folder, November 2nd, just like on external. And it takes a little bit longer to load on here. Then I would go to that and I'll create a new folder. And here I don't upload my PSDs yet. I think I might start and I'm going to have to buy storage for that. But if you have Amazon Prime already, the reason I use Amazon Drive is because I have an Amazon Prime and they actually allow you to upload unlimited amount of photos for free to the Amazon Drive. So I don't have to pay for this at all. 
and my Canon RAW files, CR2 files, they're included in the free images. So Canon RAW files, Nikon RAW files, and Adobe DNGs are all included for free. So if you have any of those, or if you don't, say you have a Panasonic Lumix or something, you can actually convert your RAW files to Adobe DNG. They'll still be RAW, and then you can upload them to Amazon Drive. So I'm just gonna create that RAW file. And you know what, I actually messed up. In here I actually have to create Mount Bromo first. So I'll just create that, and then I'll say, move this file. It's pretty easy with Amazon Drive, just move this to Mount Bromo. So then I'll go into Mount Bromo, and my raw folder is here. So if I just had, let's just say, let's pretend that these were the three that I wanted. So I would just drag these right in to my Amazon Drive. All I have to do is drag and drop them. I'm not going to do it now because it takes a long time. But as you can see, let me go to another folder. This is from Ubud. So I have my raw folder and I have just two raw files in there that I actually used. So that's all. And once they're on Amazon Drive and they're on your external, you can have access them easily from your external. And if anything happens to your external while you're traveling, or even if it's just sitting at home, you know, sometimes hard drives go bad. So this way you're always going to have it backed up and you don't have to worry about your files at all. Nothing's going to happen to the Amazon Drive. It's backed up ridiculously. You don't have to worry about it all your files being lost there. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a like down below. Subscribe to my channel, I got a lot more videos coming. This video from Mount Bromo, where I actually go in and edit the files and talk about how, how it was to get this, this photo, because I had to climb up a very steep hill and I had to fight other tourists and everything just to get this picture just right, just how I want it. So that's going to be coming soon. So make sure you subscribe so you're notified when that comes out. And thanks for watching. See you next time.